Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Infamous coming at you with uh, another video. Uh, I was looking for actually another video game coming out for 2019. I hear a lot about this Anthem video game that's coming, that should be coming out within the next two months or so. For those that don't know, Anthem is an online multiplayer, it's an action RPG. It's uh, developed by BioWare, which is known for having really good storylines, but it's published by EA. And I know a lot of people don't really like EA in terms of their microtransactions, loot boxes, season passes, you know, paid for DLC, etc. But uh, there isn't really a lot that's, that's out there that's been holding my attention lately. And of course, you know, I'm looking for something new. I'm sure a lot of people out there are looking for something that's going to hold their attention for more than, you know, a month. So I was looking at Anthem, looked rather interesting. It's made by Bioware. Um, I was actually taking a look at some of the information that's on YouTube, and all I primarily see are a lot of hype videos. You know, with the, you know, is Anthem, you know, going in the right direction? You know, are we overlooking Anthem, etc. So I wanted to uh, take a minute. Uh, I was actually doing some research on this video game. Wanted to take a minute to uh, take a look at the trailer. If you haven't had the opportunity to take a look at the trailer, I'm going to short right now. It's about a minute and a half. Uh, I'm going to touch on some things that I thought were rather interesting. There is an overarching theme within the trailer, and I want you to pay attention to the trailer and what's discussed in the trailer, and then what's showed in the video game, because there's a lot of video game clips, uh, um, either on YouTube or on Twitch, that we can take a look at, which give us a better picture um, of the world of Anthem. With that said, let's take a look at the clip. It's about a, uh, at the uh, trailer. It's about a minute and a half. The gods vanished and left our world in chaos of creating, altering, destroying. The anthem is all that remains. There's a storm coming. These walls can't protect us forever. So that's basically what you're hearing and going to hear throughout um, the clips is that the world of Anthem is very dangerous, right? The world, the walls can't protect us forever. Even to the point that humanity can't leave um, Fort Tarsus unless they're going in a suit, which is referred to as a javelin. Um, people have commented that uh, uh, Anthem kind of looks like um, Destiny 3 or like um, Warframe and Destiny, you know, had a kid and this is Anthem. But I want you to pay attention. This is basically what they're discussing in the, uh, in the trailer. It's like, uh, is this Iron Man? <laughs> Destroy us all. That's basically it in terms of the uh, in terms of the clip for uh, the trailer. That's basically it's just a little minute and a half clip to kind of get you inter interested. It's a little hype video. Now this was actually a live stream from I believe it's November. Let's see if it's showing here. November fifteenth. Excuse me. This is November first. <coughs> so this is streamed by two of the lead developers. I want you to keep something in mind, right? We just watched the trailer of this very, very dangerous universe. And so these are the lead developers. They're on the two different javelins. Um, the one javelin here, which is played by Mike Gamble, um, 
he's playing on the storm. The storm javelin is basically like your mage equivalent javelin. And then you have Ben Irving, who is playing on what looks like the equivalent of a rogue. Um, this is the, uh, I think it's called the infiltrator. Excuse me, the interceptor. So that's the interceptor. Then you have basically your tank um, type javelin, which is the Colossus. And then like the ranger is like the range kind of jack of all trades. It's the one that you're um, introduced to first in the video game from what they've spoken of on the live stream. So you're not restricted um, to any one particular javelin. You can go out with whatever javelin you want. Um, but of course, they all do different things that can support each other. So with that said, we've seen from the trailer the very dangerous world of Anthem. Um, it's very dangerous to leave the walls. It feels like something is coming to get them, they've said. And this is basically the gameplay from the from the developers. This is basically where you start, not where you start, where you leave um, Fort Tarsus, which is their hub, their hub area. And so in this video game, you can fly, which is going to present a problem because the map on this game actually looks really big. Um, something that they talked about was that whenever you leave Fort Tarsus, you enter into an instanced area. And so you leave with your group and the world that you enter is in instance and random as well. So it generates these events that go on. And um, so it basically makes the experience different every time you go out like on a mission. So this is important to understand in terms of this is their open exploration or their take on what open exploration should be in an, a very open world, which should be an open world universe. And so the problem with having the ability to consistently fly, in my opinion, is that, you know, you create these beautiful landscapes within the video game, but they're going to get bypassed because you're going to be flying over them. And there's very little incentive for what I've seen to do any exploring. And so from about, let's go a little, we'll skip ahead a little bit. And then you're, so you're seeing they're kind of flying around, kind of like a la-di-da sort of experience, enjoying the view, um, just, you know, out for a stroll sort of experience. And you'll see, well, it'll be, this is some of the uh, wildlife that he literally just kind of one-shots. Kind of like the equivalent of a deer in, you know, in any other game or, you know, some other little squirrel or something. And this is that dangerous universe that we are uh, introduced to in the trailer. And so they're kind of just walking around and it takes a couple of minutes before they actually, and I want you to keep in mind as they're flying around, you're not seeing any wildlife. You're not seeing um, them being forced to interact with the universe. Until of course they come across a, they come across, this is an, an, an event. So flying towards the event, I wonder if he had overlooked the event, um, if anything would have spawned. And so basically he lands and it basically um, causes the event to start for the next two minutes or so. It's about two minutes of combat from about the 20 minute mark say right about until the 23 minute mark or so there is it so this is basically some of the combat <clears throat> so something to keep in mind is that they oddly have a tank they they have a kind of like the rogue character who can also debuff they have the storm who does who has cc's he has interrupts he has like the shield that he can put up but they actually don't have a healer or any sort of mech or javelin that can heal their group, which is kind of weird because the only way that you can heal is either by disengaging. You'll see here, this is his shield. And so on the storm, the storm has a shield. Like everybody, All of them have a shield except for the Colossus, I believe. The Colossus just has a huge HP pool. And so the only way for his shield to regenerate is he has to basically disengage um, from being attacked. I actually think you have to disengage from combat completely for the shield to start to regenerate and there it goes so the only way that you're actually going to regenerate your hp and this is his hp bar right here is as you kill the little npcs they drop these little red nodes and the red nodes is basically how you heal i wonder how that works in a boss fight um i guess they must spawn a lot of ads but basically you'll see is about five minutes of combat and then the event ends and then that's basically it. 
Oh no! Yeah, so, yeah this is that. So the event basically ends, and then they move on to is about the twenty nine minute mark. They're just picking up drops. Right. So this is where is it? Yeah, twenty seven. Here it goes from twenty seven. So right after the event finishes, you're gonna see them. They're they're back to exploring this open world. It looks rather empty, right? You don't see any NPCs. You don't see any wildlife. Nothing. A couple little wildlife here, but nothing to worry about, right? That dangerous universe <coughs> that's talked about in the trailer, it really doesn't exist in the video game. And I think because they use these instanced um, and random events, it actually cuts, it's going to cut down, like without a doubt, it's going to cut down on the universe feeling, feeling dangerous and giving you the the reason to explore right if everything is instanced <clears throat> and everything is randomly generated it's actually going to cause less exploration because you're not going to see anything there's nothing motivating you to go into different areas of the map and that's kind of what you see here you see absolutely nothing i hope that within the next couple of streams that there that that changes but what you're looking at is an empty, an empty universe, and that's kind of what <clears throat> that's kind of what we talked about, right? The the journey through an unfinished world, the unfinished world of Anthem. And that's basically what you're seeing in the live stream. You're seeing a very empty world. That world that was supposed to be dangerous, um, that feeling of dread that something is coming. I really don't see it in this video game. I'm hoping that <clears throat> I'm hoping that within the next couple of streams, I mean this game is coming out February 22nd. So there isn't a lot of time for them to push out a lot of content and the game doesn't look like it's finished. I don't think it will be finished. In fact, you'll see they do another event um, and it's actually rather big. They come into this huge, I mean, this is it. I mean, think about it. If you were walking, right? If you were running up the stairs and you were running to this whole temple area, this place is huge. You don't see shit, right? There's nothing going on. And then, of course, there's another little random event that, that spawns there. And that's basically how um, the NPCs work. The, the NPCs spawn. They're not there. They're not roaming around. Um, they're not working their way towards um, Fort Tarsus. They're not working their way... They're not around the anthem. They're not in the universe, just roaming. They basically spawn with these events, and they give you these little pockets of combat that otherwise this universe is rather empty. And I really wanted to touch on this because no one, I mean, I've been watching a lot of different YouTube videos on, you know, is, you know, are we overlooking anthem, you know, things to consider, um, should you be hyped? Um, things like that and i'm like what is there to be hyped about I, i'm not seeing anything that's really pulling me in to the universe and so on another one of their streams they they basically only three stream right i mean they only started streaming from november 1st there's literally no content um, there's really no information on this game in terms of game combat they did another like 46 minute stream just on customization i don't even know what the fucking game looks like all, all i saw was literally an hour of you doing two events, an hour to do two events in a world that looked predominantly empty. They recently had another stream. This was from, uh, this was from, was this the 29th of November? I believe this is from the 29th of November. Yeah. And so something that I noticed, and I think other people had noticed in, I think other people had noticed in the chat was these NPCs right here, right? These are basically guards in the universe um, that I guess serve to protect the people that are in Fort Tarsus. And something that you'll notice, which I found to be rather lazy design, is what you see that guard doing right there. So I want you to pay attention to this guard. And to me, this is indicative of lazy development. right? So they're, as the stream is going, they're talking about, they're giving like a little lore behind the guard. But I want you to pay attention. Right? And you'll see the animation that this guard does. Like, what the fuck is he looking at? Right? And so basically, I was like watching this and I was like, what does he keep looking looking back at? And look, he does the exact same 
thing, right? So you basically have these NPCs that are literally dropped. Like, what is he looking back at? And so to me, this is indicative of lazy development. Right? Instead of using this opportunity to draw people into the universe, you're basically just dropping down NPCs that serve no purpose whatsoever. So sure, there is like a little bit of backdrop. They're, they're giving you the information about these NPCs, but they do absolutely nothing. They serve absolutely no purpose um, into the game except for standing there um, doing this back and forth head animation. And it's weird is because he, 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 mo he motions his head like he hears something. Right? It's not like a random slow look back. It's like an abrupt, like, what, what was that sort of um, sort of motion? Um, and so another thing that you're going to notice, uh, which I noticed in this video, in this video clip when I was watching the live stream, forget about the audio. Their audio was all screwed up. And then you'll see, does the head motion again, um, right? Come on, there it is, right? Like, what the hell is he looking at? So stupid. Uh, but you're actually going to see, and then they start walking down this path, and you're going to see this NPC right here. I want you to pay attention. I want you to pay attention to that NPC. There's going to be little glitches in this game. It was funny was because in one of the live streams that we, the live stream that we just that we just watched here, um, it was funny because like during in the middle of the event, the developer fell through the universe, and he was like. Oh, I remember it was when it was Mike died and he was like, oh, can you res me? And then he went to go, um, Irving went to go res him and then he fell through the universe. And he's like, oh, I'm not going to say what was going on. He was like, something happened. And then he says, I fell through the universe. And it was just this hilarious that like this is supposed to be basically um, a stream to sell your game to your community. And you're literally falling through the universe. But this is something else that I noticed. Um, I want you to pay attention to this NPC. And you're going to see it right there. A very odd looking foot motion. And there's another one. So I found that to be little things that just detract from what should be a AAA game. Or I guess what is pushed from a AAA company. Um, and this, this NPC I thought stood out. Looked really off. For some reason, when I saw this character, I thought Star Wars. Like, I think I've seen this character in one of the Star Wars video games. Just looked rather weird. Color scheme-wise, and I think, like, the way he was dressed, it really didn't fit in um, with the backdrop. You can see that the, the, the colors look rather different than he does. And then you see there's another one of those soldier NPCs. There was another thing that I saw over here. You're going to see an NPC on, on the right hand of the screen that looks out of place. You're going to see it right there. And it's very subtle. I don't know if you can notice it. You really have to pay attention to the color scheme, right? The color scheme is very dark. It's very shadowy. There's very limited light. Um, it looks a little dull. And then take a look at that particular character, right? It doesn't fit. It looks kind of like a comic book character, like placed into the universe. You can see it looks very different from this one. Or you can see the characters look very different um, than the one that's here, right? It doesn't look like it fits at all. It looks like it looks like the animation or the rendering that they did for that character it looks totally different. And so these were just little things that, I mean, their stream was abruptly cut short. We really didn't get any gameplay. Um, I was kind of disappointed. I was hoping for, for a bit more. So I really wanted to touch the, touch on this. Um, I'm looking to give it the benefit of the doubt because there's still a little bit of time um, for the game to come out. But I really think that this quote is going to be very telling in this game. The unfinished world of Anthem. Thank you.